Ooh, the happy little bing of the camera recording. All right, here we are at Junk Tour 2019. This is the third year in a row. I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is the Western Union uh, slash Bill and Sue on Hillman special because we're going to be um, we're going to be exploring the restaurant that they own or owned. I don't know. They're retired now, so I don't know if they still own it or if they just don't work at it anymore. But we're going to go explore it. And, uh, well, last year we started the trip with their first album, The Western Union, Volume 1. We have The Western Union, Volume 3, this time around. Um, it's very, very good. I think this is the best album they've done so far, and if you look at the blog, I've blogged about their first four albums. So you can go look at that if you wish to do so, but uh, we're going to do, we're going to start with track seven on this guy. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, hopefully we can find some old computers this round, that would make me happy. We'll rub the, uh, rub the Commodore 64 for good luck. Anyways, time to get going here. And we're going to Altona to start. It'll be a good time. Okay. Western Union. Here we go. Okay. Track seven. Let's go. the Altona thrift store and as per usual we get here too damn early and it's closed so we're not going to chicken chef <laughs> yuck we're not going to chicken chef but we're gonna go browse I don't know some things around here so uh, yeah uh, after that we go into the thrift store then I'll show you all those awful terrible crap that I've bought well, isn't this a bonus? We get to buy shitty albums for half price, so <laughs> that should be great. So, $5.67 later. Here we go. I bought a floppy disk box. This was, what, a dollar? So it was 50 cents, and I only buy these when I get them dirt cheap, unless they're really fancy. Okay. We have the W.C. Miller Concert Band, Altona 1970. This should be a good time. Conducted by William Jansen Jr. He's my favorite. Absolute favorite. I got lots of stuff. Um, computer cable, it's got that end on it, so you can plug it into your computer and turn your monitor on and off. Those are always nice. Um, I got some blank tapes. I never turn those down when they're dirt cheap. Check out this videotape I got. We have to play a clip of this while we're traveling. Well, it, in editing, we'll, we'll play it. Bible stories with Uncle Harold and Willie. They make quite a team, don't they? <laughs> oh, I bet you, bet you can't wait for that one. 
Okay, you know what I forgot to do this round is I forgot to bring uh, my Walkman. I do have one that works now, but I forgot to bring it on this trip, so we can't listen to tapes again. But I'll show you what I got. Peter K and the Pembina 3. Um, come in, stranger. Yeah, and let him rob you. Fucking brilliant. Uh, oh, I got another uh, Kevin and Mark Harcourt tape. I don't have this one. Isn't this awesome? Yeah, more weird Kevin Harcourt. Uh, <laughs> this one makes me laugh. Dad still plays for mom. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Chris Giesbrick. That looks pretty cool. You want to see that? There. It's not Chris. What? Oh, it's Chick Giesbrick. <laughs> Chick Giesbrick. My apologies for assuming that he had a guy's name. <laughs> Remember last year when I found that tape of the Musical Warriors? I found another one. <laughs> they were awful. They were terrible. Um, oh, everybody's favorite song is on here. Somebody touched the Lord. One Scarred Hand is the next song. That's <laughs> good on you guys. I bought this one for one sole purpose. Um, I didn't care what was on it. This is Jesus Rough in German or something. I don't know. But I bought it. Ugh, open! It's also broken. I bought it because it's a Maxell tape with the blue hubs. I don't I don't remember last time I seen one of these, but I wanted one. So I'll make that work for me. Alright. Oh, I have a pin. <sighs> okay. Uh, I wanna put a link um, up here somewhere to uh, to the video. Smoke free grads in the year 2000. Look at that. I got a pin to go with the video, which is on the YouTube channel. So we're gonna wear this. There, and I can proudly boast that I'm a smoke-free grad, even though I was not. I was a smoker in the year 2000. Um, <laughs> the CDs are a joy. Mennonite High School Choral Festival. I only bought this for one reason, because the clinician is Dr. Anton Armstrong. Why? is a clinician being credited on an album. Why? Why? I don't know. I Dreamed of Rain, the choirs of MCI 2011 to 2012. Look at that one. Yeah, not much of a cover on that. Clearly Hear His Voice, Broken Walls, Jonathan Maracle. Um, I bought this one because of the guy's hair. That's my favorite haircut ever. I'm gonna get one just like that. Needlefish trouser plow. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> trouser plow. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, we have the Electra Women's Choir from the Heart, Skylark, whatever that means. Uh, they put stickers on all their CDs so you can't open them while you're there. Uh, so I'm, all I have to go on is the cover, so I grab that anyway. The one we're going to play is going to be The Maritimer's Dream by Jay Garnett. Look at this guy. Yeah, he autographed it. Thanks, Harry Dork. Hope you enjoy this. Say Keely So Stu Clayton Fermi Jagalant. What? I can't read his writing. His writing is shit. But uh, we'll see if his music's shit too, because we're gonna play that one. Alright, so we're gonna go to Plum Coulee next. Remember last year when I found that uh, was it last year? Yeah it was last year when I found that film strip thing. That was pretty fun. Alright. But you'll get to watch a video on the way there. Well, well, what the hell? A s you didn't even write on this, eh? cheap bastard, you. Fucking cheap bastard. Okay, well, we'll listen to, what's the first song? Hobo's Lullaby. <laughs> and you're laughing already. <laughs> we haven't even heard what this sounds like. 
off to Plum Coulee! Is it gonna play? It might not. It's complaining. Here we go. Sounds good to me! I said go to sleep, you weary hobo. <laughs> Boys and girls, welcome to Adventure Time, and we're looking for a special time together as we've come today, and we've got lots of Bible stories and songs for you. I met Jesus at the crossroads, where the two ways meet. Satan too was standing there, and he said, come this way. Lots and lots of pleasure I will give to you today, but... I said, no, there's Jesus here, and see what he offers me. Down here my sin's forgiven, up there a home in heaven. Praise God, that's the way for me. boys and girls. My name is Peter, and I'm so happy to be a Christian today. I like to sing. I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has written. Wonderful things in the Bible I see, but this is the sweetest that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves even me. <laughs> oh, somebody's at the door. I guess I better answer it. We're at Plum Coulee! Yeah, they got a bunch of crap sitting outside. Wow. Anyways, this is a pretty good thrift store. We usually have good luck here, and uh, hopefully there's not too much from the Christian wheat belt there. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard picking sometimes when you're trying to filter out Christ Christian wheat belt stuff, and stuff that will just be interesting to say the least. Uh, let's go look, yeah! Okay, so, uh, well, we're, <laughs> for this junk tour, we're, uh, taking, we've taken the camper, so we've had to get a little creative with our parking because we're a little bigger, eh? So we parked in front of the post office to, uh, go to the thrift store, and, uh, they weren't very happy about that. <laughs> so, thank you, Plum Cooley. Thank you. <laughs> I want to frame that. <laughs> need a frame. It needs to go in the garbage. <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> this video has been sponsored by MooTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a magnet. It can go on the side of my computer with all my other weird magnets that I've been collecting. Other things we found, this uh, kinky bedroom thing. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> you don't think I'll look good in this? I think I will. <laughs> so you can stop licking your genitals. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, the music and the things was a little, a little on the droughty side. So uh, we got a couple things. We have a couple things. 
we have the Fiddling Sailor, recorded on a lovely Memorex 60-minute tape, and uh, to label it, he got a professional stamp made, so that's how he labels his professional tapes there. Ah, I'm dropping things. Uh. Okay, so we got that. We <laughs> Mark Kevin and Mark Harcourt. I don't have this one. I have Volume One, but I have, but I don't have Volume Two. So we have Gospel Favorites Volume Two by the Harcourts. It's going to be a very Harcourty um, junk tour here. Um, Daryl's Songs Number Four by Daryl Schlecht. I'm not a German. I can't pronounce that. But uh, yeah, oh, they did a nice job on the CD. Look at that. That's um, what do you call that? I think HP came out with the technology laser label or some something like that. I don't know. But the one we're going to listen to is the London West End Singers perform a musical tribute to Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> so we get to listen to some disco. Oh, digital recording. Yeah, no shit. In you go. That might be okay. No, it's not okay. Gospel Echoes in Winkler. There's three thrift stores in Winkler this year because they added a new one. So we're going to try that one a little bit later, but we're going to do my favorite one first. And uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, getting warm. It's like 39 degrees or something like that in this hot, deserty province of Canada. Oh. All right, Gospel Schmeckles. Uh, we got, uh, I found a Sandy Nelson album. I love Sandy Nelson. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. The records, eh, it might be in okay condition or it might not be. I can't tell. So I'll give it a cleaning and see how it goes. Although that's not going on my blog because it's not a blog item. Now, I didn't even look at the condition of this one, but I think it's okay. <sighs> yeah. This is Creepsville. The Phillips Family Puppets. Uh, no words for that one. I found a black blank CDR, so these are you can't find these anymore. I don't think you might be able to. It was a quarter. Ah, oh, okay. Now to the crap of the crap. Ah! I'm blinding myself with the cases. Ah! Okay. I felt so sorry for this lady, so I bought her tape. This Some German lady named Maria. There was a whole box of these things, and nobody is buying her album, so I figured, well, I'll give her a try and see if, you know, she sucks. She probably does, because the whole box of tapes was there. I got two albums by Tom and Laurie. Look at that. Two of them. I don't know who these people are. I've never seen... Or Didn't I do a Tom and Laurie album? I don't remember. I think I've seen them, though. Um, well, we'll find out. I'll do a search later and see if I actually have Tom and Laurie. 
Now, the CD of choice, the CD pickings were just really bad this time around. Uh, the Abigail's, a moment in time, you can't see her face because the sticker's blocking it, but, uh, well, that's her problem. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Mm. Woman, oh, woman is the first song. Another cup of coffee, my baby's gone. Yeah. We'll give it a try. It's probably garbage. But that's why we're here, right? Okay, the Abigail's, a moment in time. Let's rock, ladies. And here's some rock and roll. There we go, we're rocking. Yeah. We're going to the Teen Challenge one because it was really close. So, well, editing can't fix that, so let's just go look. Hang on. What the hell? They're having a demolition derby! Wow, what a haul of stuff. Let's go through it. Uh, I bought one record. A tribute to Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, Eddie Cochran, and Johnny Horton, and Big Bopper, and Jesse Belvin. That's a lot of people to uh, rip off their ARC. My friends or enemies at ARC. Yeah, that'll be a good time. We got four blank tapes. That's always good. Uh, we have box of floppy disks for a buck. One says Merry Christmas card on it. I don't know what's on the rest of them, but we'll find out. Oh, the CDs, the CDs. Zeratoski? <laughs> I don't know, he looks, uh, that's an interesting looking guy. He's, there's karaoke versions of his songs on here too. Yeah. He's, what? He's smoking a dupe. Yeah, he is smoking a dupe. Uh, karaoke versions include Just Hangin', How Many Days, Teenager 42, Love Isn't Blind, Hunger, and Closer, in case you want to sing his songs. I don't. Oh, we have a reappearance this year, uh, from, uh, Willie and Rody, um, whatever their last name was, Ren Longnecker. Remember that? <laughs> that was at Gospel Echoes, I think I found, uh, their other album. So I had to get this one. It's got crying in the chapel, flowers come and go, and a bunch of other shit on there. We have red robe women, not alone. Um, yeah, I don't know. We have to suff it. <laughs> uh, uh, I bought it for one song. It's called Broccoli's on Sale at Dominion. I wonder if that's a uh, store in Dominion. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I like that. 
Um, we have Jake Fair and the Fairs, Country Gospel. Um, my favorite part about this one is it's got a song called I Sow the Light. Instead of I Saw the Light, I Sow the Light. So I had to buy that one. And I'm doing a, um, a discography on this guy. Uh, Peter Nachuk, Ukrainian Wedding. I don't know if this is, this is probably a re-release of one of his other albums, and I probably have it, but I figured, um, it's worth picking this up. So that's good. I don't know what CD I'm going to I want to listen to the Broccoli song. The Broccoli song? I almost want to listen to this guy. Yeah, he's probably stoned out of his mind, so go for yeah, it. Yeah, let's do that guy. For $4.49, I got a big case of 8-track tapes. So, and there was a ton of them there. There was multiple cases of them, so whenever that happens, I go through them and see which ones I want to pull and throw them all in one case. Not the first time I've done that. Man, where do we start here? Um, some of these don't look official. Like, uh, Tammy Wynette's Greatest Hits, that doesn't look real. It could be, it could be pirated, it could be a knockoff, we don't know. Uh, I think I only got three, I only got volumes one and three or something out of this one. Country Stars on LP, but this came out in 1983. Like, eight tracks were well out the door by then. I got a blank one, that's always nice. Sweet Country Hits. Who the hell is that? It's nobody. It's not anybody. Um, there's a few other Country Pop Hits of the 70s, Volume 6 from Realistic. That's interesting. Oh, I'll get there. Don't worry. I think I already have a copy of this Lennon McCartley Tijuana style one here. Um, Best Adele Shannon, that's a good time. The Fabulous 50s Greatest Hits of Columbia Musical. Yeah, you know, it's probably crap. Barberson's Greatest Hits, that's good. Oh, here's Country Stars on LP Volume 2. I didn't realize I had Volume 2 and 3. Um, there's probably a Volume 1 in there somewhere, but I don't feel like going back to get it, so screw it. This is, uh, on the edge it says, Sounds like Ta Tammy Wynette, but it probably isn't. <laughs> You're gonna love that, eh? Hey, yeah, best of the guess who in there, and uh, a Rod Stewart album. It's just all kinds of shit in here. Um, Trucking on, that's a compilation. Uh, Gordon Lightfoot Instrumentals. Ooh, yeah. Another copy of Night Flight to Venus. I think I have two of those already. Uh, the very best of Anne Murray. Whether it's Anne Murray or not, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh yeah, tribute to Elvis, uh, Golden Ring. I already blogged about that. I didn't need another copy, but... Music to Park By by the Nashville Guitars. This is kind of a translucent A-track case. Uh, it's got Let It Be on it. That should be good. Got some Dolly Parton, 9 to 5. Beatles, Abbey Road. I don't think I have this one on A-Track. That's pretty cool. Best of Hank Williams. That's another... I don't know what that is. Knockoff or whatever. Rolling Stones, Some Girls. That's good. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. And... Oh, I got a Hugo Montenegro album. That's good, too. Um, yeah, there's a few other ones in here I just kind of skipped over because they're not interesting enough to talk about. Okay, so Zaretsky, Zaretsky, uh, what songs should we do? Just Hangin', um, did My Dearest Marianne, The Prisoner, I don't know, he sounds pretty serious on this album here. We'll do the first song because usually people put their first, their best songs first, right? Or their worst ones, depending on the person. Alright, we're going to go to the other thrift store in Winkler here, which is the MCC. And, yeah, let's cruise on over and rock out to this guy. It's blank. I party on all night But now this dog has way more bark and bite Had all these plans I thought 
Chicken Chef. <laughs> we don't want to eat there. Maybe one day we'll do Chicken Chef for lunch. Maybe next year and we'll do some commentary on how bad the food is. Anyways, uh, we're here across the street is the thrift store. Um, yeah, big beautiful building full of beautiful garbage. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that Zarotsky or whatever the hell his name was. Um, yeah, we'll go shopping. Hi, okay. MCC thrift store. Our finds, or my finds, I guess. Um, they have a specially priced vinyl bin. Usually I dig through there, I'll find something good. Look at the record, it's got the shit beaten out of it, and they want like five bucks for it. This time, I found a Spooky Tooth album, and it doesn't have the shit beaten out of it. So I was like, okay, I'll pay five bucks for that. I like Spooky Tooth. Ah, I think everybody has their own taste in old people music. And mine is Frank Mills. So I bought this uh, Selections from Frank Mills. So I guess it's a sampler. It's got four songs on it. Never seen it. So I bought it. All right, to the CDs. The CDs were hard pickings this time. Um, although I bought a Best of Nina album. I mean, go figure, there's tons of German people here. So uh, that explains a lot. But 99 Luck Ballons. Uh, yeah, this is a little weird. Bill Jansen and his clarinet and Andre Tikhonov on piano. Yay, it's autographed by both of them. They're probably dead now, so it's worth lots of money. Well, he's probably not dead. He's still young, he's probably dead. Ah, what we got? H&V Melodies. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. It's polkas and waltzes, so. Just plain reacts relaxing by Valdis Wally Jurgens. Uh, uh huh. I don't know, man. I don't know what this is. He's got lots of one uh, word titles Grateful, Faith, Grace, Hope, Captivity, Dedication, Playing, <laughs> Tears. <laughs> uh, I got a DVD called Get Off the Couch, Energizer. Oh, here's the cover. Uh, music video, ASL version, lyrics, like the, you know, if you want every version of this song, whatever the hell it is, uh, it's done by somebody in, from Winnipeg. And it's uh, sponsored by the regional Winnipeg Regional Health Authority or something. I don't know, it's a video. And we have Aaron Burnett, Think Green. This is all songs about um, environment stuff. There's one called Carbon Footprint, one called Water Cycle, Hudson the Polar Bear, Humpback Whale, Reduce, Reuse, and Recycle. <laughs> I think this is the winner of all of the ones that I picked up. All right. We're gonna go to Manitou, we gotta get gas first, and we'll chew on some food on the way to Manitou. So, let's, uh, wow, it's in the shape of Earth. It's round. Aaron Burnett, think green, so let's think green and go get some more gas to burn. Ah, okay, oh yeah. Oh, it's Elvis. 
It's environmental Elvis. Green is the color of Kermit the Frog. Little Irish Lippercombs hiding beneath the log. There's green snakes and turtles and Timothy Green. And a green traffic light that I'm sure you've seen. Green is for nature, the grass and the trees. Think green to save our planet, won't you help us please? Think green when you go to the park to play. Think green before you throw your garbage away. Fried green tomatoes from Dr. Seuss Those little green marshals that are on the loose Anna Green Gables is my favorite book And Shrek the Ogre has a nice green look Green is for nature, the grass and the trees Think green to save our planet, won't you help us please? Think green when you go to the park to play Think green before you throw your garbage away Oh yeah, I gotta talk about this place I don't think we've ever been here I don't think I've been, ever been here either so, we'll go look at Good As New Thrift Store. Yeah, see if there's any crap here. Where the hell are we? Manitou. Fucking Manitou. Okay. I thought we were going to Austin. Though. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Austin. Oh, because I said that in the, um, in the previous video that we were going to Austin. So we're in Manitou. Okay. Um... We're in Hickville, that's for sure. So we got Dusty Road. And it's autographed by everybody. Best dishes. Oh, that's good. Uh, there's a cover of Mule Skinner Blues on it. That'll be fun. We also have Watching Our Country Die by Eleanor Dahl and Smiling Johnny. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. He's missing a tooth or something on this. Yeah. <laughs> I found a video of the Manitou Centennial 1997. What's on here, I have no clue. Centennial. Whatever that means. I got the Lee family at the Pembina Crossing. I wonder if it's live at the Pembina Crossing. But uh, yeah, there's uh, Grandpa, Daddy Sang Bass, the Unicorn. All kinds of good songs on there. I also have Wing and a Prayer by the Coffee House Blend. <laughs> uh, Dream a Little Dream, Spinning Wheel, Hush Hush, Spanish Lady. That sounds like a good one. Now, I'm getting tired of finding albums by these guys. Well, I picked up a couple the other day, or the other week, I guess. Country Blend. This lady, she has her own two, she has two solo albums, and then she plays with these idiots here. And then, for some reason, she's missing here. I'm guessing she died or something, so we got, you know, it's kind of like Jim Morrison after Jim Morrison, or The Doors after Jim Morrison died. So, maybe that's what this is. Um, we have Silver Threads and Golden Needles, Beer Barrel Polka. Uh, which one are we going to do? We're going to do one of these. You want to do one of those? I haven't oh. even talked about those. I haven't even talked about these guys. These guys are awful. All right. Um, Roy Royston. Oh. Untamed Melody, Daddy's Girl. This one looks pretty good. And we have this Doug Young. He doesn't look very young on that one. Um, I think these are all originals on this one. Oof. Scary, scary stuff. We're gonna do the Roy Royston. Did his parents in it, like intentionally name him Roy Roy when their last name was Royston? I don't know. Some parents are mean. They do stupid things. All right, Roy Royston on her land. Who's her? We're gonna do Unchained Melody because we're just in that kind of a sentimental feeling. Or sentimental mood. Yeah, here's a picture of him. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, he looks solid. He's this gonna is up front, party in the back. The, the, yeah, this is his nice mullet here, and he's gonna make us feel like we've gone back to the 80s and the 60s all in one shot. Okay, Roy Royston. Uh, Unchained Melody is number four. That CD smells like rubber balloons. Right. Uh, here we go, yeah.
time goes by so slowly and time can do so much are you are you still mine
Village, Brandon. We were here two years ago. That was a good time. I found some interesting stuff from what I remember. Uh, this is our last stop for the day. And then we're going to retire because we're old. And speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, speak for <laughs> myself. Exactly. But yeah, our last stop should be good. Tomorrow should be more fun because we're going to be cruising around Brandon and checking out the thrift stores early in the morning whenever they open because, you know, thrift stores don't usually open that early. So let's go see what we can find. I'm going to take my pen off because they might be weirded out by it. Okay, uh, not much at Value Village, but I always manage to come up with a few things. We have Making Music with the Treble Teens of Steinbeck, 1978. So, I don't know what that's doing in Brandon, but it's, uh, looks pretty interesting. Oh yeah, they used to be handbell ringers, apparently, so. And they sing! Ooh la la! Alright. CDs! We have Goodbye England's Rose, Candle in the Wind, 1997, by the Countdown Singers, so. Yep, might as well capitalize on uh, Princess. Di oh, I like Princess Diana's death. And I like the little blurb here. All royalties for the use of the recording "Goodbye England's Rose" slash "Candle in the Wind" 1997 will be donated directly by the Producers and Madacy Entertainment Group to funds established in memory of Princess Diana. Or Princess Diana. I call bullshit on that. I don't know what's going on with all the death albums I've been finding today, and I've been trying to pass them up, and I just didn't, ended up picking up this one. Galen Froze? I don't know. That's a German name. Galen Froze Obituary. Ah, uh, such nice music. Reminds me of death. Good times. We have Full Circle by Lola. Um, yeah, this might be interesting. Hey, good looking, fool such as I. Um, probably some other crap that we know. And It Ain't Music by Ringling Five. This one looks interesting. Um, Don't Screw with Montana, Sheep Shearers Lamont, Sunshine and Scenery, I'll Never Let Her Go. Poop de poop de polka. <laughs> Please uh, tell me we we're listening to that. Yeah, we're gonna listen to hoop de poop de polka or whatever. What we're gonna do now, we're hungry. So we're gonna head over to the um, Chinese restaurant that was owned by uh, Bill and Suan Hillman, the Western Union people. And uh, we'll see if uh, see if it's still around, and maybe we'll eat there, and maybe we'll see some interesting art on the wall. That'd be cool. All right, the Ringling Five. Let's uh, hear their beautiful voices, or whatever they got. What song are we doing? Oh, the Poo Poo Polka. Yeah. Whatever the hell that is. There we go. Oh boy. Everything we do, there's hoops to jump through and a certain etiquette to get things done. There's rules and regulation that cause some aggravation, but it doesn't mean that we can't have some fun. And every day we work, there's doo doo and some dirt. Mix a little rain and you've got mud. But we don't sing the blues and it won't get to you if you do a little polka with your butt. Do the hoop, de poop, de polka. Don't let yourself get down. You're not allowed to frown. Your destination is on the right. Where? What's the address? What the fuck? Uh, I think it's gone. So after driving all over Brandon, trying to find this damn restaurant that Bill and Sue on Hillman apparently own, um, we couldn't find it, 
and finally noticed on the website it says archive site Sue's is now closed so we're not eating there <laughs> we'll have to find somewhere else to eat and then we're going to retire for the night so um, yeah um, this will be the end of day one so we're gonna go find somewhere to eat and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on day two. All right.